The Ravens picked up Chauncey Rivers out of Mississippi State uh, as an undrafted free agent. When I watch him, I see a good football player um, with good instincts, um, very physical, good tackler. Uh, as a pass rusher specifically, um, I feel he's fairly uh, uh, one-dimensional in the, in the reps I've seen. Doesn't have tremendous speed, does not have, or at least doesn't show tremendous uh, bend, but he's very physical. He's got a pop in his hands. Um, he does work to get hands off of them, so there's a lot of upside there, I think. And as I watch him, uh, the thing that, that comes to mind is this guy is a good football player. Um, and that might seem, uh, you know, like an obvious observation for a guy that's playing, you know, big-time college football and he's, he's getting a shot in the pros. Um, but you see guys that are a lot, uh, not as far along as this guy that got drafted way higher than him. So I'm really curious to see... Um, how this guy does in camp and how he how he um, translates. Again, thanks for the support and for the views. If you if you wish to contribute or support this channel, uh, you can do so through PayPal, and there is a link uh, in the description box. Thanks very much. He played um, D end uh, in an even front in college. We get we get a chance, however, to see him standing at the line here and dropping into coverage on third down. I think he does a good job. Um, of watching the quarterback and feeling both of these routes. You see him uh, walling this, this number two route here, this vertical route. Does a great job, I think, of keeping eyes to the outside here, uh, getting underneath this curl, um, and kind of splitting his eyes, if you will, to the quarterback and to that receiver. Watch him here drop right underneath the curl. Uh, by that time, it's too late anyway, but you see he's taken away what was probably the, the intent of that play and the quarterback's read. We get another look at him standing here uh, out of this uh, 33 nickel, and um, he's going to read pass pretty immediately there. I think he does a great job of, uh, of reading the quarterback or keeping his eyes to the quarterback, feeling the route, um, and then obviously this turns into a bit of a pattern matching um, coverage, but watch his eyes and watch how he's able to get under uh, redirect or uh, collision this, this drag route and take that away from the quarterback. I think he, on these two plays, shows a real good feel for that. Understood. This is Chauncey at 5 Tech, and um, he's a little late off the ball here, but I like what we see in terms of his eyes here, reading the action in the backfield right off the snap. Taking on this block, we're going to watch him really sink his hips quickly here, get underneath of the block, uh, control the blocker and squeeze, and then shed and make this tackle. I think he shows good awareness um, both in the uh, zone drops we watched and uh, in the run game generally. Something I'm, I'm noticing or I think that I'm noticing, he has a great uh, great vision on the field being, being able to see multiple things uh, at the same time. Uh, I'm sure he reads this counter step by the back. They're running GT counter to his side and this guard is going to try to kick him out. I think he feels that. I don't think he's just bursting into the backfield be, uh, to make a play here. I think he understands based on the back's counter step, um, and, and I think he very much feels these pulls coming to get him. So he goes out, he's able to set the edge, he's able to defeat this kick-out block, and then shows good effort to get in on this tackle. Another counter call this time, just with the guard pulling, and uh, it's really a counter boot with the quarterback or a fake counter. You see the counter step here by the tailback. He's unblocked. He's very decisive. I don't know how fast he is or how well he tests, but he's very decisive off the ball and very quick in this read. Uh, you can see him for an instant here. Think about taking on the outside shoulder of this um, guard. Then he <laughs> sees the back of the quarterback and with, with the football, and he's going to go get this thing. Um, makes up his mind and shoots, and I think that's uh, great to see. Beats that block, beats that kick out block, just makes it, charges upfield, violently finishes the back. And, and then watch the effort after the tackle, he's up. He's not done just because he finishes the back. Watch this from the beginning. A 
here he is at five again. I'm not I'm not sure what the plan is in terms of blocking him here, but I think he's he's feeling a, uh, a double team coming his way. And you'll you'll notice on tape, or I have, um, he's very good at sort of feeling these blocks uh, pre-snap, getting off the ball quickly and splitting them. Or he's also really good at getting into one of the guys and creating two different levels off of a combination. In any case, you see him split these two blocks squeeze down uh, down the line, make, make a tackle here. Uh, big, big old back. I think he strips this football, too. I think this ball comes out. Big hit by 40. Um, 40's a really good downhill linebacker. Um, Chauncey's a good tackler, too. Here's what I was talking about, about him uh, being able to kind of get a double team at different levels. That's one of the ways um, that we want to see a defender beat a double team. He fires off the ball. They have him at three tech here. That's a little different. Um, probably sniffing that out, but but you see him get into the tackle. And right there, you see the tackle and the guard at different levels. Um, what that does is it stops them from being able to be stops them from being able to drive him off the ball. Um, certainly stops them from getting second level. So he does an effective job here taking on this double team. And then you see him get off, find the ball carrier. Path of the ball carrier and get in on this tackle as well. Down near the goal line, they pull the guard and the tackle and you see him kind of instinctively start to squeeze there. And uh, he surrenders the edge here, or doesn't get width on the edge, uh, and they score. There were several plays I saw where, where I almost, you know, turned off the film, and uh, but he just kind of would reappear. He just makes effort plays, or he shows consistent effort. Um, following the lines blocking here, you see him spike inside to beat this tight end. The tight end is really content. Uh, to kind of drive him past the play as they are booting the quarterback here. Um, yeah, he's playing this to try to get in, in the backfield and make a stop on the back. So to me, he was sort of out of the play, but watch the effort. Watch the effort. Just kind of chasing it all the way down, real instinctive off the ball, uh, maybe to a fault in this case, but really good effort and finish too. Another good effort play here. See him take on the tight end's block. Follow the line. Uh, doesn't really sink here. Just kind of throws the tight end away. And I, I like him finding the football here. I think he's a uh, very aware football player in terms of his eyes. We talked about it earlier. Finds the football and then spends himself here. Diving after the ball carrier to bring him down. Just another look at his effort. Uh, chasing the ball ball down backside here. Let's look at him as a, a pass rusher and uh, I thought he had a good game against the uh, the right tackle. I guess it's Texas A&M here. Does a good job here getting into half of them uh, and long arm arming him, getting his right arm into his chest. See good power, good pop in his hands, able to uh, uh, get some space and separation between he and the tackle, get him to open up fully and then go after the quarterback. Once he uh, reads pass, uh, you're going to see him go into pass rush move here uh, and work the hands just a little bit with that outside arm. He's going to chop down and then rip up again to clear that arm. So you see him starting to work his hands here. See him get a good jump off the ball here. Beat the tackle out of his stance. There's that outside arm trying to clear the tackles. And just a little bit of evidence of him being able to get flat there. The, the quarterback steps up um, to get away from the rush. You, you see he gets cleaned up by his own guy there. Uh, it's interesting. He gets to the quarterback or to the spot about the same time as 42, and 42 is uh, unblocked. We'll see him off the edge here. Um, gets the tackle to open up, and he beats him inside uh, to get a hit on the quarterback.